So every once in a while over here at the Knife Center, we get something new in that just makes us giddy. Something that reminds us why we really love our job, and this is it. I'm David C. Anderson coming at you from the Knife Center, and this is the Sword Carcass Splitter. Let's go show it around. It's beefy. Don't you wanna take it out and do some cool lifestyle photos? I guess so. So our photographer Graham is a pretty deadpan kind of guy. You can't really tell from his expression, but he was jumping for joy inside when he was holding this. Ah. All right, let's take this thing upstairs. It's cool, man. Come here. <laughs> Got it. Wow. <laughs> no videos. So we're gonna go in here and see what our COO Josh thinks about this now. Mr. Corn. That's what they all say. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. EDC for the day, huh? I think fixed blade Friday all the way. Sounds good to me. Good feel, good weight, good balance. Nope. Critical reaction? Absolutely. Looks good. <laughs> Don't you miss getting to play with stuff like this out there? Yeah. No, that's Go bigger than that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad I'm going to be in your video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. We're not going to give this to her as a present, but it's almost Janie's last day, so we got to let her play with this. I thought it was going to be. What are your impressions? Um, seems very heavy duty. Um, it's a little too big for my hands. Not quite EDC friendly I, for you? I, I can't quite carry this every day, unfortunately. Um, but you know, maybe one day when I'm a little stronger. <laughs> so we haven't done a live from Nick's desk segment in a while, so maybe it's high time. Say hi to Nick over there. Nick, have you seen the carcass splitter? I have. Oh, well, geez. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is a high carbon steel, extremely tough, and they are fresh in from New Zealand. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. If you want a kitchen knife that is also an axe, I don't know of anyone who's doing it better. So as everyone is probably aware, we've got a lot of dogs here. Hey, Tupelo, what do you think of the carcass splitter? Any good? Eh, he's a little wishy-washy on it. So our buyer Jason is the one who brought this in and I couldn't be happier about it. Let's see if we can get his reaction on this without him making any bad puns. I'm not holding my breath. So tell us what you really think. About the cleaver that you're walking into my office with? No, no it's really good. <laughs> that is pretty damn good. Doesn't it just make you smile? It does. It, it does have a lander to hold, so you can't practice safe cleaver. But it has, you know, if I'm cleavering and you know it needs to drop free and hang off my mm. arm. But it does have the hook. It does. Which you can use to hang it or retain it in your hand. Which is quite nice. That's true. Yeah. Somebody's gonna get hurt with this thing. That's so Brian over here is one of our tech guys, and he doesn't always come out of his office a lot, and we think it's because I'm walking around with stuff like this all the time. <laughs> and stand back. <laughs> the fact that he's wearing that shirt too. Doesn't it just make you smile? A little bit. <laughs> Way to show some enthusiasm. <laughs> So this is so new, our warehouse guys haven't even had a chance to see this outside of its packaging. So we gotta give them a chance to take a look as well. Sure. 
should practice safe tool carrying. Huh? Chris, how are you now? Good, and you? Oh, not so bad. Woof. What a knife. Absolutely. Heft on that thing. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Love it. I mean, just make you drink? Yes. <laughs> what do you think best use for this would be? Split the carcass. Well, that's a little on the nose, don't you think? Uh, butchering. <sighs> Defense. You know you want to hold it. I've already. Yeah, you realize we've held this before, right? This you realize I just threw down in the basement that our warehouse guys haven't seen this out of the packaging. You're gonna make me look like a liar. Things that come in come to us first. <laughs> this is the first time you've seen it out of the packaging. See? I wasn't lying. <laughs> is this for hanging purposes or is this for I think fun that purpose? I think that's a multi-purpose hook that you could get into a lot of trouble with. Did I say trouble? I meant uses. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Are you clocked back in yet? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and so as you can see, just the enthusiasm about this thing, the goodwill and the smiles that it puts on your face, just there's nothing like it. But if you need more, let's talk some specs. We've got high carbon steel, as I said, seven millimeters thick. I mean, just check that out. You're gonna have a hard time doing anything that's gonna hurt this blade. Differential heat treats, so we've got a softer spine, so it's tougher with the better edge retention there at the front. Black micarta scales and red liners. So not only does it look good, but it also feels really good in the hand as well. You got that nice hook there, which is some great retention. And believe me, you might need it, because when you swing this thing, there is a lot of mass that is moving. And having that right there is great to just hold it in place. And of course, you've got the typical cleaver hole right there, which is gonna let you hang it on a hook if you're actually using this in a uh, professional operation. Because believe it or not, like this thing is fun, but it's actually modeled on traditional carcass splitters that were used to process meat in the butchering industry. So apart from those traditional uses, like I said, this would make, I'm going camping next weekend, I wish I could have this with me, man. Take every ax you've ever thought of and just put it on steroids, man. This thing will blow through some wood. Splitting, chopping, just I wouldn't want to be anywhere on the opposite side of this if someone was coming at me with it. This, is, this thing is just insane. Dude, if you want to get your hands on one, you know what to do. You got to click the link in the description below to head over to knifecenter.com.